what you do best, you're super, super strong. Uh, you move your body very strong and very powerfully. So here, here you are initially turning to the side. Yeah. And at contact. Oh, I actually, I do turn. Oh yeah, it's fun. I always thought that, because I've never seen myself, I always thought that I kept my shoulder. Oh, okay. No way, no way. You, there's no way you'd be able to hit the pace of shot that like, is like your standard rally ball without a powerful turn with your body. Okay. And so you go from perpendicular sideways and, uh, to start to facing forwards at contact to continuing to turn a little bit past there, which is why you're able to hit such a big ball. Okay. Now what I want you to notice is at contact, keep your eye on the bottom okay. edge of your racket. Okay. It stays. Uh huh. The down. bottom is still the bottom. Okay. You don't do this on every forehand. I'm sure we'll actually this one, yeah. if I remember correctly, this one, you do turn the racket over. It does rotate. Okay, got it. See what I'm talking about? Yep, 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 yep. But the majority of your shots, the racket stays in that same position okay. as you follow through. Okay. Let me go back to uh, Roger for a second. From uh, this position here, you see how uh, his butt cap is pointed forwards yep. towards the ball? Yep. From here, to contact, we could trace a kind of a semicircle path with this racket as it goes from this position and then comes up to contact. And the momentum of the racket going in that direction wants to continue rotating. The reason why Roger doesn't look like, like quick or twisty is because he's just allowing the racket to smoothly decelerate after making contact. So this doesn't happen because he's like trying to spin the ball, which is why it's not an abrupt or uh, aggressive thing. Um, this turn is happening just because he's relaxed. Does that make sense? Yep. 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 So the fact that your racket holds this position, to me, uh, signifies a great deal of tension here yeah. from the shoulder down. Yeah. And when this part of the body is tight, and it collides with an incoming ball over and over again, yeah, we're putting a, you're putting a tremendous amount of uh, kind of shock and force uh, into your body over and over and over again. And I think that's the number one reason why on your forehand side, your elbow's been bothering you. What we're gonna do is show you how to allow this, the racket to calmly turn over instead of keeping it straight on all the way around your body. Okay. This is tricky because I don't want to mess with like your, you know, you have a certain style, you have a certain personality, certain way that you like to hit the ball. And so I think it's important to, to honor that, but we also need to guide you in terms of like player development in a direction that's going to serve you the best. Right now you kind of just have faster, faster. And it'd be really nice to, to learn how to find a tempo that was confident without being out of control. Okay. okay. Yeah, I told you I had. <laughs> I oh man. Speed. I have two speeds. And Stop that... or hit really hard. <laughs> we're going to go through some slow shadow swings of your forehand and we're going to break it up into three parts. Uh, part number one is going to be just your initial turn with your body. And now you're going to turn and just meet the ball, imaginary contact, uh, contact position. And now what we're going to do is take the top edge of the racket and slowly turn it so that it's on the bottom. And I'd, for the time being, mm -hmm. I'd like your, your finished position uh, to be here. Yep. So to kind, of, okay. kind of just up over uh, shoulder height okay. with the butt cap pointing forwards. And I'd love for it to be, yeah, up, up a little bit higher right here. Higher. So check out the, dis, uh, the difference in height between the, your grip and your shoulder. Okay. Now let's see you go back to that spot. Good, nice job. Uh-huh, slow it down a little bit. Good, nice job. Keep it at that speed for a few, please. I just wanna show you how you're looking right now. Okay. So ideally what we wanna see is what you're doing right now, which is a gradual calm turning of the racket, which is in the middle of the two extremes. One extreme being uh, no turning of the racket, okay. which is what you're doing right now. And the other extreme would be a really aggressive, like twisty, like turning, kind of windshield wipery kind of motion of the racket. Uh, what we're looking is to kind of put a happy medium right between those right, two. Yep. Okay, now uh, we're gonna go through a sequence of uh, three swings. 
the first two are going to be the, that same tempo, that same 30% effort, 30% racket head speed uh, through the swing, finishing in that same position. And after your second one, Ira's going to drop a ball to you. Your goal is to make rep number two look the same as rep number three. Same swing. Good. Nice job. Nice job. Do the same uh, sequence again, please. Two practice ones. And then the third one, the same motion, the same speed. Good, Jaden. Uh, that's your last uh, practice one. And then here's your actual hit. Okay. It's actually really okay. similar. What I want you to be careful of is okay. exaggerating the twisting and turning part of it. Okay. Uh, most of the force going through the ball should be uh, delivered by your body and, and lifting the racket with your arm and your shoulder. Uh, a lot of this twisting uh, stuff is going to add a lot of volatility to your shots. Yeah. It's going to make it difficult to be consistent and um, make it more likely that we start aggravating that uh, elbow as well. So that part of it should be calm, relaxed, not very aggressive with the turning of the racket. As you continue to go through, Jade, I want you to focus on relaxing your hand as much as possible. Keep the same speed and the same motion and relax your hand as much as you can. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, um, Jaden, I'd like you to come back up into no man's land and Ira, can you please uh, hit some feeds for us? Uh, we're gonna do that same three swing uh, sequence, but now Ira's gonna feed you just a real easy, a real easy ball. And your goal is to make all three repetitions feel the same. I'd like you to watch the, the speed that you're swinging through on your practice yeah. ones versus, do you see the difference? It's faster yeah. on it's, this one. Yep, quite a bit faster. So and slow, slow it down. Yeah, I'd love to see a little bit more calmness. A little slower? Okay. Can on the actual that? hit. Your shadow swing is great. Okay. Watch the shadow swing again. Like, I would love to see that tempo through the actual hit. The actual hit, you see yeah. how there's like a yeah. quick like yeah. turning of the racket? Yeah. Keep it calm and smooth. Yeah, that's better, Jaden. That's better. I like that a lot. I want you to loosen your grip as much as you can. Whoa. Nice shot. No. I, like, I, love, I love seeing that. I love seeing it. So, do you know, your racket, the only reason why it twisted was because the ball did not hit the middle of the racket. Okay. And so that's going to cause it to twist and turn in your hand. Hitting the ball cleanly is the way to fix that, not gripping tighter. Okay. It's really important to understand that. Good, good calm swing, Jaden. Nice job. Doesn't really matter if you make or miss right now. Really nice, really nice. Loose. Could tell you weren't gripping very tight there. I want you to see which, what you look like making these swings. Yeah. Um, this is your first hit. Oh, okay. What do you see? Uh, it looked easy. Yeah, yeah. it does. But still pretty good pace, and we're not really trying at all right now. Yeah. Are you still around 30%, maybe 40% effort? Yeah. We're getting a good, you know, decent shot off the strings, but we're not really trying much yet. If you can maintain this level of um, looseness and efficiency while increasing your swing speed, which is what we're going to do, once you get up to 50, 60% effort, assuming your body moves as fluidly and as efficiently, you'll be hitting a bigger shot than you were before at 80% effort. Okay. And that's kind of our, what we're working towards right now, just to give you a, a roadmap. Nice. All right, I'd like you to move back to the baseline now, Jaden. Uh, same three shot pattern, one shadow swing, two feeds. Good. Really nice, nice really nice. There you go. It's really nice, Jaden, really nice. What's about to happen is now you guys are going to engage in a rally, which means the ball is going to be traveling a little bit faster. So the energy that the, is coming in to your racket will be greater. So it doesn't mean that you have to now all of a sudden hit it harder. It just means to be smooth. 
Nice. There you go. Nice. As we move forwards and as you go home, I want you to pay attention for two different types of swing. Okay. And both of them are improvement over where we started. Yeah. Um, this first one is what Ira was describing, where you are turning the racket over. But it's late. Right. What really matters is, do you know how long contact takes, how long the ball is on the strings for? It's between two and four one thousandths of a second. What really matters truly is what's happening at that instant. Okay. And ideally, at that instant, the racket is already starting to, to release. Okay. And so when you hit and go through straight and then that later means. on follow, follow through, it means that we didn't have the um, looseness that we wanted to be able to allow the racket to release naturally okay. instead of after the hit. Does that make sense? Yep. So here's two examples of where you did a really nice job of it. Where there's, there's no um, stagnant like push and then turn. Okay. The, the turn is happening as you're making your follow through. Okay. And on this last one, the same thing. Racket is already turning yeah. as you hit. Yeah. Overall, awesome. awesome. Yeah. So really nice confidence now. The, the key now, once we get to this level of, of acceleration and beyond, uh -huh. is maintaining your calmness while accelerating. Okay. And it, that's, that, I know that seems like uh, kind of uh, those things are at odds, yeah. like more acceleration while remaining calm. Yeah. But it's the only way we're going to maintain control while hitting aggressively. Yes. If as you increase acceleration, tension also increases, yeah then you'll start to lose control of the swing and that's when your, your pain will start coming back also. Okay. We're gonna do 12 feeds. Uh, three of them are gonna be below half speed. This is kind of where we started, like really smooth, calm, relaxed. Three of them are gonna be about half speed. Okay. Uh, three are gonna be a little bit above half speed and, and the final three are gonna be a level above that. So what we're looking for is is a gradual increase in aggressiveness while maintaining the feeling of kind of flow and looseness. Does that make sense? So we're going to sequentially increase your acceleration while staying relaxed. So start off below half speed. It's really calm, relaxed, Jaden. Three swings. Good, good, good. Keep it there. Keep it there. Two more. Nice job. One more. Good. And now about half speed. Half your effort. Yeah, that's a good increase. Keep it long and relaxed. Very nice. One more like that. Good. And now a little bit above half effort. Uh, a little more. A little more uh, confidence. Okay, good. All right, and now let's go ahead and, and ramp it up another step. So this, we're going into... We're going into like aggressive territory. This is where you're gonna start to yeah. want to feel like, okay, now I really need to be tight and tense is what most people associate with aggressive. Uh, but I want you to fight against that and feel, feel the looseness and the flow of your entire body instead of tightening things up with your arm and your hand. Okay, I like it, I like it. Good effort, good effort, I like it. Yeah, nice Jaden, nice Jaden. A little more aggressive. I like it, I like it. Good length on that. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good job. Yeah, I want you to see what you look like right now. Yeah. So before, there was much more quickness. And by quickness, I mean abruptness. Okay. Uh, these have more flow and more um, smoothly delivered power as opposed to like a quick like oh yeah. I, bet I gotta accelerate the racket right now and so your whole body's working more efficiently yeah so it's good looking swings good. remember where we started
my elbow, yeah. my armor is just watching, just watching that. They're just holding on to the racket so much. I think abrupt is a is a good word. Like there is no flow or smoothness yeah. to it. Yeah. And there is that that yeah. um, holding on to the racket, so the racket was staying yeah. facing the same way. Yeah. So just much much more efficient power to to these reps. The biggest thing is the release of the racket, mm -hmm. but you're just you're moving your body much more in a much more controlled way mm -hmm. now, even though it's still aggressive. Yeah. And that's the path you should head down uh, when you go home. Okay. Kind of that uh, dichotomy of calm, calm. power, <laughs> calm power.